Um, we are being. Is the. Uh, I think you have to do it. It's still on. Okay. So we are being uh, filmed to be seen at a later date, unless we are, we're not on right now. Or this is a taped. This will be taped. You're not seeing us live. Uh, this is the meeting of the Public Works Committee of the City Council. First um, order of business, um, if there's any public comment, we also in this meeting, if you'd like to wait until an issue comes up and you would like to speak at that time, we also, that, that would be fine, or would you like to say anything before we... No. Okay. Great. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. So the first order of business is approval of the minutes from our previous meeting, which was June 29th. I'll take a motion. Approve. So moved. Second. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, our one agenda item is we're coming back to a agenda item that we had last time on our schedule, which was a discussion on the reconsideration of the taking of center court. And in that discussion, we talked about having the mayor come to address some of the questions that came up during that meeting. And I want to thank the mayor. It was I was supposed to have spoken to the mayor way back. And I want to apologize because I spoke to him about four hours ago and asked him to come to the meeting because I totally forgot. So thank you, Mayor, again for coming. Um, you can either come up and sit with us or I'll come to the, your Fine. usual yep. spot. Yep. So there were some questions that uh, both the counselors had for the mayor. So. Well, we've been kind of round and round with this, but I think we need clarification again, and we also have someone here representing the folks from Center Court um, about the process. So you do know that we um, voted uh, to not accept the recommendation of the BPW way back when to accept to uh, take well, Center to not take Center Court. Okay, I'll let you finish that all. You can yeah. correct that if I'm not saying yeah, my, my, properly. My understanding of it, and I have looked back and studied it, is that there was a recommendation put forward by the uh, Board of Public Works to not have it be a public way. Right. Um, the council put a motion on the floor to accept that recommendation, um, and the, recommend, um, the vote was a 4-4 tie, and so it failed for lack of a majority, you know, it was a push. So basically the motion failed. Um, my position would be that I'm not going to spend city money and I'm not going to go out and spend, um, you know, have to have engineering, have to have uh, surveys, have to have the city, uh, have to have the city solicitor draw up an order of taking, et cetera, um, without an affirmative vote of the city council. Um, and I don't, I don't believe a 4-4 tie um, on a motion to not recommend it constitutes an affirmative vote of the city council <coughs> to lay out in a public way. So I just, I, and so I feel like I think the council, if the council wants to have a public way laid out, you should, you should um, put a motion, you know, before your colleagues to say we would like to lay this out as a public way and vote on it. So. Um, Director Huntley told us um, when this committee was constituted as the yeah. uh, public works, what was it, what did it used to be called? That they'd already begun that process. Okay. So now I'm a little bit taken aback because you're saying that until we do that, the the, B, the DPW shouldn't be undertaking a yeah, it's, engineering. Yeah, that would be news to me because I'm not aware of any engineering that's happening relative to that. I talked to the city solicitor today. He hasn't been asked to do anything any title work or any title search work. So, so they may have done some preliminary work, yeah. I don't know. But my position would be, I, I mean, I hope you would agree that voting to not, you know, a failed vote on a recommendation does not constitute an affirmative vote of the city council. I mean, you, need, you, need, you, know, you would need five votes to, to do the taking and then, so that's, the, that's my question for you, council. So, Solicitor Sewell had a different uh, interpretation of what it meant because Solicitor Sewell believed that our not our our not accepting the recommendation of the of the department 
was in fact the equivalent to a directive to them to to start the public taking process. In fact, we read that at the last meeting. We can read the email to you, but we asked him about this many okay. months ago, and, and I think that what Councillor Adams is sharing is accurate in terms of what we heard from the city solicitor. Okay. I guess I need to see that email. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with that. So clarification. And I, and I, I mean, I think his email was clear, but if we could figure out if that's, you know, which one's correct. Okay. Well, I think I need to, I guess if you could send me that, or I could ask him to send me that. And I don't know if he had, um, yeah, yeah, I'm not so sure. I can forward it to That'd be great. Let yeah. me just address both counselors. So are you guys saying, my understanding of what then did, that if we took a 4-4, four, four, if there was a 4-4 four, four vote on a different motion to accept it as a public way, which would be a failed vote, correct? That would be a failed vote. That but you're saying because it was a failed vote to not accept it, that then it automatically is accepted? I, that was my understanding of what. Yeah, so I think that, so that, that was that so my I'm problem. Sure that was like, I'm, yeah. I don't know. And I'm not sure. I don't know if well, I'm not sure how the question was posed to count to to the city yeah. solicitor. Because I just I met I happened to run into him today because we had a meeting on other matter and I described the situation of the four four push. I don't know if he knew. Like I think I don't know if it was presented to him that the council voted affirmatively to reject the DPW's recommendation. I don't view a four four failed vote as an affirmative one way or the other. I I view it as a failed motion. A motion communicates the meaning of the body. Yeah. And a four a failed Failure to get a yes or no, I don't view that as an affirmative. So, and again, I don't, I, I mean, again, I've already made it clear that I'll veto, even if we got to that point, I'm going to veto it. So, you're going to need six votes so to override my veto. So, yeah. but I'm certainly not going to, I'm not going to bring forward and engineer something on a 4 4 failed vote. I just don't think that that expresses the will of the council. So, I'm not sure, I guess I got to see what you presented to City Solicitor Seawall. Because I'm not sure if he knew that it was a 4-4 failed motion. If you if you'd like, it'd be beneficial. Yeah. I know you want more time. I I pull up the email if you want to read me wrong. Sure. Councillor Klein, the issue is whether two no's equals a yes. Does the city council saying no to the former BPW's recommendation against laying out center court as a public way mean that the city council has voted in favor of laying it out? In this instance, I think it does. If both the BPW and Planning Board have reviewed and made recommendations, the next step would be for the DPW to have a plan of the proposed way prepared and formally accepted by the City Council in the manner in which all of the other ways have been laid out. I hope this address addresses your question. To, to me, it's to me it seemed. But did he was he provided the information about how the actual vote yeah what the actual happened. numbers were on the vote that I think helped change it if we had voted. Seven to me, two and reject it, then it would. Because a 4 4 vote doesn't express the clear will of the council. It, it expresses that there was no clear will of the council. So, I mean, you know, the other. Well, but, but, did, but if we voted, you know, 8 nothing against it, it would still be a no vote. Because the. Yeah, vote, that, then, I would, then I would say that council has affirmatively rejected the. Yes. The, well, I mean, um, I think it knows it, no, but. But it, well, it's not when you don't but it was a yes motion, motion, and the motion failed for lack of a quorum. I, 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 well, I mean, for lack of a majority vote. I mean, it was a. I mean, had the vote had the motion been four four, to lay out a public street, and it wouldn't have moved forward. Would we have moved forward then? I mean, I don't know how we would have moved forward with a failed motion. If it was the opposite, I don't know why I would how I would move forward. If the recommendation had been, please lay this out as a public street. And the council put that recommendation on the floor, and it failed, or it was a four-four push. Would I go ahead and move forward and lay it out? I, I don't think I would. So there's two different issues here. One is kind of the uh, we're arguing kind of a theoretical issue, yeah. which I think it would be great to have yeah. uh, Councilor Seawalt here or talk outside of this meeting. Yeah. The other is the practical issue. So with the mayor saying he would veto the bill, I would certainly not want to move ahead or ask the DPW or anybody to move ahead and spend any city money on a project that probably won't move forward. My suggestion would be if councilors feel strongly that we should move ahead with this, they can then go ahead and present this to the whole council as, as the mayor was saying. And if we can 
if the folks who support this can get those six votes, because those are the votes that will be needed, then we move ahead. Or the five votes. I mean, or the five votes. But if you're saying you'll veto this. Well, no, I'm saying that, that I mean, the DPW right. has made a recommendation. Okay, so even, I'm even the five votes. So, so it's, it would seem to me that, that that would be the direction we would then need to go, is to bring this back to the council. We could you know, discuss this at this meeting and, and bring forward a sense of how this committee feels about it, take a vote here if we wanted to initiate it from this committee um, and bring it forward to the council as a whole. So in other words, this committee would be responsible for drafting an ordinance that would call for the taking, etc. No, 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 I think, no, 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 I just mean, I would say, I would say, I, don't, I mean, typically the way the language works is that you're, you're voting to lay out a public street. So what I'm saying is, I'd like an affirmative, but without even the, without even actually doing the engineering or doing any of that stuff, I'd like to have an affirmative, some vote of the council to say, you know, we believe this is a public way and we want to move forward with laying it out as a public. But how do we make that happen if we don't have something that calls for a, a taking of center court? I guess what I'm saying is, I would ask you to take that vote, and then if that vote is successful then we will go drop all the documents and bring them to you and, and then do it like like the DPW had done with the previous public ways that it recommended. I mean, it wasn't, I think the way the DPW viewed this as, you know, you sent them all the petitions, they went through their whole process, they had all their hearings, and the ones that they felt that they could recommend as engineers and as a board, that they could recommend as public ways, they prepared and got ready and whatever, um, they just didn't, I don't, but the ones that they didn't, they didn't really expend a lot of resources doing that because they didn't think that it feasibly could be a public, or should be a public way. So I think what I'm saying is, this is the one, one of the recommendations, no recommendations that you didn't accept. Um, and again, if they had, if they had said, we're, we're dead set against this, but we just spent $10,000 providing a design, and you voted, and you agreed with their recommendation and voted against it, then why would we really spend that money? I'm just picking a number out of the air, but you know, whatever the thousands of dollars that it would have taken to do the work, the survey work, whatever. So all I'm saying is that, I mean, probably in retrospect, I wasn't, I don't even know if I was here when you had that vote, or I, you know, obviously if I'm not part of the council. When the first vote failed, it might have made sense for somebody to make a motion on the opposite, you know, of the opposite. You know, because the, the recommendation was to not have it be a public way, and that failed. But really, that doesn't affirmatively, it failed for like 4-4. Four, four. It didn't fail because the council 8-0 to zero shot down the count, you know, the DPW's recommendation. It failed because it was a 4-4 four, four push. So I just think then, it maybe it would have been better if the council had said, okay, we, we then, we're, we're, we recommend that we move forward with laying this out as a public way, and then taking a vote on that. Which again, I, I, I submit to you would have been a 4 4 tie. I'm not sure what would have changed. Right? And I don't know what would have changed at that point. So I don't understand why we would go to the expense of doing all the engineering, doing all the work, and laying it all out if we know that it's not going to have the support. Just reading back to your reading Councillor Klein's posing of the question yeah. to Solicitor Sewell, I think that she. Let him know clearly that that that, that uh, she said it has been Ned's understanding that since the council voted to reject the recommendation of the former BPW now mm -hmm. public work, uh, department uh, to not take center court as a city street, that the DPW is now tasked with working on how to effectuate its taking. Okay. And then she basically goes on to say, "Is that correct?" And, and it sounds like, well, then we know we go back. But again, I think the issue that we're talking about is, did he know the vote itself? Yeah, I mean, I just, he can opine it, I'll just, I'll just tell you my right. opinion. Yeah. I, I really think it's, it, the vote failed. The vote failed, and, and I think that, I, I think it's totally relevant if it failed 8 nothing or 5 5 one. The vote didn't pass. I mean, that's just my opinion. So here's a question. So in order to have this as a public way, wouldn't we have to take an affirmative vote in the council in order for it to be a public way. Well, and so the question becomes, and this is, if that vote is going to fail, I for one do not want to sit there and, ha and be watching the DPW do work that we even know is not going to 
move ahead. Yeah. And I, I, so I think, yes, we've got a theoretical argument here about what does a 4 4 vote mean. I think that's an interesting debate that we can have. But then there's the practical thing. There are court cases, actually. We yeah. Can do some so, but there's the practical consideration of how do we move forward and do any of us here want to move forward spending, again, whatever those thousands is. I forgot when we were at the other DPW, the Joint Committee, I remember they once told us what it would cost for each street, and it's a few thousand bucks. It seems to me a waste of money to do that. If we want to move ahead and try and have this as a as a public street, as a public way, then we, at some point, should encourage the council to take a vote on that. I, I think that we're talking here from a point of assumption that we're going to have a 4-4 vote again, and we don't know if that's No, no, true. I don't know that. I'm saying have So have I do think we have to be um, proactive in bringing this to vote again and seeing if we have the same numbers. We, we need to have an opportunity to discuss it again. The folks that are in yeah. favor of making this a public way on the council should speak. We should do, um, you know, we'll have public comment um, beforehand. I think we need to go through that process. And let me just say, if the vote had been five to four, I would agree with your email. I would agree with, I would agree with Solicitor Seawald's analysis, and I would move forward and have the. I would agree with the interpretation that rejecting the recommendation could mean that we should move forward. I just don't view a 4-4 vote as the council expressing itself. Um, I just don't understand how every other thing you do requires a majority vote to do it. You know, to change an ordinance, to change, you know, whatever. I just don't understand how that would be a 4, how a 4-4 how a vote could express an affirmative. So that's that's my point, is that if, if and I, so I think that's, and again, I'll, if you send me that email, I just think we should let Solicitor Seawall look at it with that additional information. That email that was sent in February was um, Director Huntley was CC'd on it, and you were as well. Oh, then so I'll go back and find it. Was, I, I okay. did resend it to you, so you okay, should I'll have go back it in your inbox. February but it's something that everybody okay. at that time had a chance to comment on, and it didn't kind of move forward. Okay. I, mean, I, I agree with Council and Clyde. Before further money spent, we should, the Council should just reconsider it, take another vote, leave a question aside. We can get the answer to that. But anyhow, that aside, we can. I mean, it certainly doesn't cost anything to take another vote, to take an actual, take the opposite vote of the one you took before. That's all. Okay. That's all, I, that's all I'm saying. Um, there, I'm kind of stuck on this point, though, of the 4-4 the four, four vote, it being a failed vote. It seems to me, I mean, I, I'm kind of a, a novice in all of this, so I don't know what the law is around it, but it does seem to me that it was not a failed vote in the sense that we didn't have a clear majority. It failed, we did not accept the recommendation of the, um, the DPW, yeah. DPW. In which case, in fact, I think it may, as um, the city solicitor said, um, it should trigger. So I'm still a little bit stuck in that. So I'm going to ask you the that practical. Point first. Okay, so we're back to the theoretical question. But I, I think you were just saying. I think I agreed with what you just said. On a practical level, let's supposing we get a ruling that says, okay, it means that it, it means what? Right, okay. And the mayor's going to be doing it. Are we still going to spend the money when we have not voted? to make this officially a public way. And I, for one, would not move ahead and vote for that for that very reason. So I would want to first do, this on a very practical level, of know that we are going to actually make this a public way before we approve the money that could be wasted. I could also bring, I mean, the other option is I could bring you an appropriation order to appropriate the funds to lay out the public way. Vote on that. Okay. You know, whatever. But before we even vote on the public I way, I'm and then, saying that and then I we think that we should. Have, I I would feel more comfortable with this, the outcome of the previous vote, of there actually being some kind of a vote prior to us expending money. That's all. I, I agree with that. I'm just concerned that procedurally we may be um, just you know by our own discretion deciding to ignore the outcome of a vote that was taken which seems procedurally faulty to me. So I'm, I'm curious about that. I understand the practicality of what you're saying. Yeah, totally. Councilor Spector, it makes complete sense to me. And at the same time, I think 
we could potentially be setting some kind of precedent if we're essentially ignoring the outcome of the vote that was already No, because actually the law, the, I mean, the Mass General Law says that there has to be an affirmative vote of the city council to lay out a public way. Yep. So, so if you think that that was an affirmative vote of the Senate. That's the piece that I, I hadn't heard. And I'm just I saying, if you go to that court, now. that yeah. is not going to be considered an affirmative, like a negative, yeah. a double negative yeah. that wasn't actually an affirmative because vote. I don't think that would be having, having worked on with the committee, that was the Public Works Committee, that was looking at all the streets, initially, way back, they had actually four different possible recommendations in the early phase, which might have been how it would have come through. So one was to say absolutely yes, another recommendation was absolutely no, and then there were two in the middle that were kind of neutral, it just threw it back to the council. So what if there was a 4-4 vote on neutrality, which is, so there, I agree with the mayor, there's not a sense of the council of what the direction was to go. It was, and I would like a sense of the council. And so that was up to the, we are actually even argued at that, this was, you get the notes from like two years ago, but we actually even talked about, I remember one of the meetings, are we gonna go ahead and do any work, even on some of the streets where they were recommending they become public ways? Should any money be spent before it was actually voted on officially by the council and for practical reasons, because of the snow plowing and a bunch of other things, we said we have to do it. But I had a number of concerns even then, saying can we really vote on things where what if the council doesn't approve these? It turned out we did, that this is the one that we are really arguing about, if I'm correct. I don't think we had any other arguments on any other streets. Is that right? Except for I don't know. I, 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 I think this is, is the only one. I don't think this is the only one where there was this difference between the recommendation and the time. I think, I think one of the things we're all saying is we're very surprised by the solicitor's ruling. But it, he did, he were his opinion. But he didn't make that opinion, so that needs clarification. Yeah. Okay. But, um, it seemed clear to me that we can't, you know, not follow it because we disagree with it because they, they were picking and choosing what, what of his opinions we like and what we don't. So we really need clarification. Okay, I think that's right. So let's. Yes. I, I can uh, give you some information on the engineering <coughs> that uh, uh, I thought took place on Center Court. There was a crew down there for a number of days. And in my conversation uh, with Ned Huntley in the past, um, he talked about taking the right of way as the street. All the engineering is done. Uh, so uh, I, I think the uh, I think there's some engineering. Well, there's also already a, been done. well, there's also a sewer easement that they need to take. So I know that that's water, a sewer or water reason, so that could have also been the reason they were doing some engineering. But I, I, I don't know that directly, so I can find out. But I mean, I know the DBW does want to have an easement for that infrastructure that goes under there. Yeah. Yes. Well, if, if it's not taken yeah. as a street, yep. uh, if it uh, remains a private way, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Ned informed me that he has to get an easement for the water line that goes in. Yeah. And uh, also the sewer. The sewer water. The sewer. So yeah. that's going to have to. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, th there's been some sewer work done privately uh, on the street. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so uh, th that's a situation that I'm not familiar with. But the engineering, that there was a crew down there mm -hmm. for uh, uh, about three or four days that I mean, did some work. Okay. And I know Ned had talked at one point uh, about the right of way which would give him all of his engineering. It would give him uh, uh, very little work to do as far as expense goes. Okay. Well, I can so clarify that with okay. Okay. So yeah. we have to clarify that piece with Ned and clarify the other piece yes. with the city solicitor. Easy enough, yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming in okay. with late notice. And yeah. Yeah, that is very helpful. No problem. Yeah, and again, I, I um, I, I, uh, I know Councilor Adams has referred to not taking the city solicitor's opinion. I, I will accept the city solicitor's opinion. I just don't know if he had all the facts. That's what I want him to relook at, that piece of it. Because okay. um, I just think there's a difference. The piece that you said at the very end there about Mass General Law mm -hmm. needing an affirmative decision yeah. about the taking of a street, that, that kind of moves it to another level for me, and I understand. Yeah, so we just have to figure that. that piece of it out. Right. So, okay. 
All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. See you in half an hour. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Before we yes. go forward on to something else, I just yeah. want to make sure that Mr. Andrus has said everything that he feels that like he needs to say today. Yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, I, I didn't hear all your. Uh, I was just. I just wanted to make sure that you felt that you had enough time to say what you wanted to have said today. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I just have a question. If if the vote goes to the council, and uh, if it does pass the council, now my understanding that that uh, uh, the mayor is going to veto it. That he, was. He's made that clear. He's made that pretty clear. That's, that's the understanding. Yeah. Okay, in, so in which case, it would six votes to pass we, we, if it were to pass six. at all. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. You're welcome. Anything else? On the... no, this, no, I, I, I thought the city solicitor understood your question and, 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 is, and was fully aware of what happened. So we'll see, I guess. We'll see. Move to adjourn. Oh, is that it? Okay. No new business? Wait. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Can we discuss something? What are we going to do for half an hour? Okay, so there's a motion to adjourn that's not debatable. All in favor? Aye. Aye.